What is going on guys, DBG here. Today we're gonna be going over our no money spend squad. We have built one of the best no money spend squads for a budget lads. We've built one of the best squads and we have literally, I started this account, well, I had like, I sold a bunch of my cards. I basically started this account on Monday. I started this account on Monday lads. Completed the Kevin Garnett challenges. Again, the reason I started this account was First of all, I'm in a Schrodinger's ban situation on what was my main account on Xbox. But um, basically, my Xbox account, I didn't have Iji and Lian, And I also had no auctionable cards that were above like 30k MT in my squad. And if you guys play on Xbox in Europe, it's significantly harder to find a game on Xbox is on PlayStation. So I was moving over to PlayStation anyway. Because once I missed out on Iji and Lian, who was like the one, like the one difference maker... I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a PlayStation account. Going to go full no money spent again. Because I don't need the good guys. Like, everyone's being... I spent a lot of a lot of money opening packs on Xbox. I spent a lot of money on that system. But the reason why I spent a lot of money was because for videos, I lost all my MT by locking in for... Um, locking in for all of, like, the Season 4 cards. I, mean, I had Badia, I had all those cards. I had David Thompson. I locked in for every single card just for videos. So that's... I lost all of my MT. So, I have a better squad now in three days than I had after playing Xbox the whole year. Period of me spotlights him. So, point guard. Now, this is a tricky one. See, I don't like Kyrie Irving. A lot of people really do like Kyrie. I don't. There's a lot of good cards here, by the way. Jason Kidd has been, like, he was debatable. He was very, very debatable. I do really like Jason Kidd. Kirk Heinrich, because he's my guy. If you guys don't know, me and Kirk Heinrich go way back. If you guys don't remember NBA 2K17, every week I would do like a squad, a money squad builder. Do you guys want to see them back? Do you guys want to see them back like a squad for like under like 35k? But I, I think that those squad builders are kind of tough to do. Because back in the day, we used to have very few reward cards. And you could get like, the budget cards are really good. But now the reward cards are way better than budget cards. So it's kind of outside of like three or four budget cards. There's not that many great ones. But... I'm starting Dennis Johnson at point guard. Now, this is a guy who has pleasantly surprised me. 82-3 ball. His release is really good. Good driving dunk. Immaculate defense. Good player build. 97 lateral. 6-4 point guard. Can handle his bully, clamper, quick first step, dimer, anchor, glove. He has incredibly impressed me. So much so that um, Tyreek Evans is not in my squad. Even if I pink dime Tyreek Evans, he's not in my starting lineup because of how good Dennis Johnson is. Now, this guy really, really impressed me. Shooting guard. The way my lineup works, I normally would have, like, I had been starting maybe someone else here, but my shooting guard position is, like, one of my best players, Chetty Osmond. Like, Wiggins, again, Wiggins is on the bench. Opal Wiggins is coming off the bench because Chetty Osmond is just that dude. Acrobat, bully, fast, switch, fearless, finisher, comeback, kick, clamp breaker, quick first step, interceptor, menace. He has got everything. Range extender. One of the best releases I've used in the game. It reminds me of PJ Tucker's. That upper is so nice. He's an upper that... A lot of the uppers in previous years were bad. They're like straight up and like release from the top of their head releases. Uppers, most of them have been bad, but it's really good on him. Stats wise, he can shoot. He dunks really well. He's a really good defender. He's got a huge player build. Great speed. Great ball handling. He's got... He moves like Kyrie. Like his dribbling is basically Kyrie's dribbling. He is one of the more most effective players in this game. One of my favorite players in the game. And Chetty Osman. Oh, I'm telling you, he's that dude. Small forward, there is a no-brainer choice here, and it's OG Ananobi. OG's defensive animations. I wonder what his tendencies are. I wonder what, like, there has to be a reason. Like, some players are more bumpy than the others. It's not, it can't all be tendencies. Like, he only has an 80 on-ball steal tendency. Anyone who's played that OG Ananobi challenge knows that OG Ananobi is the best player we've ever seen of stealing the ball. So he has the base motion style, which is the defensive stance. He's the normal defensive stance. He's a normal ass player build. There's just something about this guy. He's a good shooter. He's not a best shooter in the world, but he's a good shooter. He will dunk. He will handle the ball. He'll move. An immaculate defender. Really fast. Great lateral. OG Ananobi as well. A pink diamond. He's got a posterizer, clamp breaker, quick first step, anchor. The big difference between him and the diamond. If you guys didn't pick OG Ananobi pink diamond, but you guys can just get him diamond if you're not completing it, that's fine as well. Because the big difference between these two is like stats wise they're basically the same they're irrelevant is that you just have all you have range and you still get anchor challenger chase down artist menace i think like you get quick first step clamp breaker and you get clamps do you even get clamps he doesn't even have hot clamps i did not realize that 
He doesn't even have half clamps. He's one of the best defenders in the game. OG Ananobi. If you've played the challenge, you know how good this guy is. Power forward, obviously Kevin Garnett. This guy is unbelievable. Guys, big guys don't... He doesn't move that well with the ball. Despite his, like, really good saves, he doesn't move that well with the ball. Bully, masher, post-spin technician, clamp breaker, anchor, clamps, quick first step. He plays lanes really well. He can shoot from... I gave him goal range and silver agent threes. So, he can shoot from deep. He doesn't come with range. Great jump shot. Really good release. An upper, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. But again, he is a guy that will be usable until the day this game ends. Is he that much better than Yuji Lian? No. You can argue Yuji Lian is better. Is he that... Like, is he, like, far and away better than Dirk? No. He's not. Dirk's really, really good. Is he even far and away better than the guy I'm running a center at power forward? No. But what Kevin Garnett is, one of the best poppers in the game. And I think we see that we have a, we have guys like Chetty Osman will be able to cook until the day this game's over. Like, I will be using squad builders at the end of the year. I'll be using Chetty Osman to cook with the guy. We're, we're now at the stage where every one of these guys can survive until the day the game ends. The candy man. Michael Olawa Candy. Now, this guy is just different man if you've used the candy man everyone's like oh he doesn't get Yanis' defensive animations he lit he is the snatch block king i've never seen anyone catch balls in the air and snatch block like all candy he's crazy he's got anchor post lockdown box down box out beast brick wall he's got 18 gold badges including quick first step clamp breaker he's got jordan dribble style really good dribbling he dribbles like a guard 73 ball one of the best release in the game not gonna create but will hit wide open all the time 95 driving dunk Solid ball handling, super defense, great speed for a center. I'm telling you, Yao Ming is one as centers go. If you want to play Yuji and Lian center, he's probably two. Maybe Dirk in that range. So we've got Yao one, probably Garnett, Yuji and Lian, Dirk. Probably best of power forwards with the three of those, okay? This guy is like juiced up cream. He's like juiced up cream. This is like, for me, if you're going to play Dirk, E, and KG at centers, he's the number two best center in the game after Yao Ming. All of a candy is that guy. And because he's so much, you might say, oh, he's only got 85 speed. Yeah, it was almost as fast. He feels so much faster because he moves so well with the ball. He is one of the best like zig situations or say zag situations. So like instead of like some guy zigging by just putting in like a tall guy to guard Yao, you literally just use your point, use all of candy point guard and you might be able to score on Yao. Backup point guard, Del Curry. I need a shot creator off my bench. I need a creator off the bench. That's what Del Curry is going to give you. The guy's got an unbelievable three-point shot. He can handle the ball. Defense, a little bit iffy, but really good speed. He's got quick drops off one, which helps when he has a low dunk rating. Agent threes, amped, range, guard up, clamp break, quick first step, as well as um, pretty passable defense. He's definitely not going to guard ball, but because he's six foot five, you can put him on the wing. So like I've been using like Tyreek, but I don't like Tyreek's release. He's only an inch taller. And sure, Tyreek can dunk, but like Tyreek's only got an 85 dunk. So it's not like it's ain't crazy. And when you get quick drops off one, the 60 dunk isn't the isn't the worst thing in the world. Shooting guard, we're going Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins has got to play lock, basically, off the bench. So one of OG and or Dennis Johnson, my starters, are playing lock, and he's going to be my primary, whereas he's the primary for the bench. Also, like, Del Curry dribbles the ball better than anyone and can shoot from deep, release a little bit slow. Wiggins has got to play lock off the bench. Really good three ball, great driving dunk, really, really good defense. He's got great speed, speed ball and acceleration, great lateral quickness. He has got absolutely perfect, and I mean perfect badges. Only 41, which is a little bit iffy, but like he's got all the ones you need. Other than I don't think he can hold range if I'm not mis or he has range. I think he can hold it. Like you probably need to give him range. It's about 5k MT, which I will do at some stage. I think it's definitely worth it because I think Wiggins will be here for a while. Is he for me as good as an OG or as good as a Chetty Osman? No, but he's a really, really nice player. If you are struggling to find a shooting guard and you're like not going to be able to get Wiggins, if you want a pure lock, this guy's really good. Like Dan Marley, he shoots a lot better than Wiggins. He's better release and defensively is the, basically the same other than the fact he doesn't have as high a block as Wiggins. A bit slower with similar lateral. Dan Marley's really good as a 3 and D wing. I don't like Dylan Brooks. I don't really like his release. But Dylan Brooks is a really, really solid three-point wing as well. Uh, or a 3 and D wing as well. He's a really good defender. He's a little bit small player build, but I don't mind that card. 
and then at the shooting guard position i probably wouldn't use deandre hunter because it's released but if you really want to use deandre hunter i go for this guy's 682 guard to play defense it's just wiggins has the mixture of all of it he can dunk he can dribble he can shoot a little bit he will play great defense probably need to put range on him but not the end of the world like even silver range is fine so small forward is one of these positions that like i was very torn on who i was going to play and trevor ariza is one that a lot of people thought that i should have picked but the more i used him the more i prefer dorian finney smith the more i prefer finney smith and there's no i might put like thorough has a thorough might have a spot like i'm not sure if i don't like i like F finney smith i think he's good he's got like catch and shoot clamp breaker anchor clamps and he has range yet yeah, he's a really good release and um, he'll dunk it he'll handle he'll play defense if dorian finney smith's not playing well thorough's in like thorough's right in there and i'm really not sure who i pick like it could easily be thorough like thorough might have his spot like that's how much i rate how high i rate thorough shoots well you know what as much as i like dfs well, Dorian Finney-Smith, not here. I see here first, though. Um, Thurl's coming in. Willis Reed, power forward. Now, this guy is just a chicken man. Like, 77 three ball, he will never miss. But he's got immaculate defense. Yes, he has 56 perimeter. I don't know what perimeter defense does, but I've used him enough that I know it doesn't matter whatever the hell it is. If you've used Willis Reed, you know how good he is. He does not have the best stats. He does not have the best badges. He doesn't look to have a lot of stuff going for him. This is one of the best power forwards in the game. He's not a good center. One of the best power forwards in the game. I'm telling you, this lad is a beast. And then the center position. Now, this is where it's a real struggle. I might go and buy some. I might see who I can get for 25. If I can get Chris Stapps for 25, I'll pay that. But for now, as a placeholder... I'm torn between a couple of guys. So, until they fix it, if I want an interior, running dupe Michael, Michael Oliver Candies might be the idea. Like, running duplicate Michael Oliver Candies until it's fixed might be a good idea. But also, Miles Turner is a guy that I really like. So, I really like Miles Turner's jump shot. He's 6'11, good player builds. And because, like, I don't miss open with Miles Turner, and he's got a 92 block and good interior defense and good speed. I think Miles Turner is going to go in there at center. He's a really good power forward as well, by the way. But he comes with like anchor, catch and shoot. Does he? He gets gold range clamps. I'm telling you, this is one of my one of kind of like my guys. Again, one of the best poppers in the game. I'm a big, big fan of Miles Turner. He's nowhere near as good as Michael Otto Candy. And like the power forward and center is a big discrepancy, starter and bench. But I think he is a good job as a popper. But again, you probably need a roller more with Del Curry. But it is what it is. Then the last guy is off the bench. So we've already got like our point guard in here in Tyreek Evans. So there is no spot in the end of the bunch for Kyrie Irving. Dorian Finney-Smith is in there. So it's mad that there's no spot for Kyrie Irving. So all five of my pink diamonds are in there. These three guys, um, Del Curry and DFS, they're in the squad. Um, or sorry, all six of my pink diamonds are in the squad. And then Kyrie Irving just doesn't have a spot. I don't think he offers more than Dennis Johnson offers. And we just need one last spot. So we've got our point guards, small forward... And we probably do need a shooting guard because we only have two guys that can play shooting guard right now in Chetty Osman and Andrew Wiggins. So the only issue for me would, would be is if Wiggins just isn't hitting. If I can't hit a shot with Wiggins or I need to shoot from deep. So I basically need a 3 and D range extender 2 guard. And I have two choices here. I can go Chris Mullen, who's the better shooter, and a competent, who's a competent defender and a really good shooter. I like his release more than most people do. And it's between Chris Mullen and Dan Marley. So Dan Marley, again, is a really nice card. 6'6". Six, six. They both have very similar player builds. You've got the shooting badges there on Mullen, but you do get, like, Challenger, Interceptor, like, on Marley. Dan Marley gets goal range versus half range on Mullen. You got, like, Green Machine, Bailout. They're very, very similar players, man. They're very similar players. You get Quick First Step on... You don't even... Do you get it at all? You don't get quick step at all on Marley. You get it on Mullen. I think Mullen offers that a little bit more just because of his danger off that fade. Mullen is incredibly dangerous. And because if I do want defense, I can just keep Andrew Wiggins in there. Or I can like move. And if I want defense and shooting from deep, I can put Dorian Finney-Smith the three. Put Dorian Finney-Smith as lock. And move Chris Mullen to the two. And we're kind of sorted there. But yeah, this is what we are going to be running with, lads. 
this is the no money spent squad. Let me know, do you guys think I can do better with what I have? I really like this team. This is one of the guys a lot of people don't like, but as far as point guards go, I really like him for what he does. He doesn't. He needs to be a secondary ball handler because I have Chetty. And because of Chetty Osman, just how good he is on the ball, I don't need. I just need a lock here. I don't need to run anyone. A lot of guys might say Tyreek. I, and I definitely, Kyrie Irving. It's between Kyrie Irving and Del Curry. And I think I'm going to take Del Curry over Kyrie for that backup point guard spot as like a non-defender. But yeah. Guys that are like dead set in my starting lineup. Hit these four guys are set in my starting lineup. I'm not changing that for it'll be a long time on an account with 27 KMT that I find a guy to displace any of these guys in my starting lineup. The only thing that could like make me get rid of somebody is if they come out with like a god tier point guard pretty soon. But anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.